All right, welcome back to another Touch Designer tutorial. And in this one, we are going to look at what I call painting with tops. And actually, it doesn't have to do anything with painting at all. But it sort of looks like a painting in the end. And I feel like the process is also sort of similar to that of painting. Of course, we're not holding a brush, but it's more like, you know, explorative trial and error and these kind of things. So yeah, we're going to build this little mountain range here and uh, get some snow falling, very Christmassy, you know, just winter vibes. And yeah, this is the network here. So it's just tops. There's two uh, ex sort of external effects in here by uh, David Brown. I'm going to show that later on. And um, yeah, lots of noise, lots of compositing, displacement and stuff. So let's just dive into it, right? As usual, I'll delete the whole network and build it with you from scratch together. So let me start by adding a noise and go to the comment page and change the resolution to 1280 by 720 and change the pixel format to 32 bit float RGBA. And on my transform, I'm going to go down with the scale Y to zero. And I'm going to just type in a few different uh, parameters like parameter values in here that I would suggest you to simply follow for now and you can change that later. So uh, 1.3 on the period, 3 on the harmonics, 2.4 on the harmonic spread, and 0.5 on the harmonic gain, 0.1 on the amplitude, and 0.3 of, of, on the offset. So we kind of end up with this uh, texture here. I'm going to add a rectangle from here. And on my rectangle, I'm going to change the uh, size x, size x <laughs> to 1 and the size y to 0 0.02. And I also want to like I want to push this to the bottom, so I'm going to just select bottom on justify vertical. I'm also going to add a null and add a ramp from here. And I'm going to bypass this ramp for now. And then I'm going to add a displace from my null and pipe the ramp output into my displace. And then we already have a mountain range. I'm going to go and get rid of the first one here so on the displace weight x set that to zero and i'm gonna just leave the y as it is for now so now you can see we have this white line right and then there's this uh, grayer more transparent area underneath so what i want to do now is add a limit go to quantize and change this to ceiling and change the value step to one and now we have a nice constant color there i'm also going to add a level just to be in control of the transparency and I'm going to go down to 0.5 for now. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just take all of these and just copy and paste them. And I'm going to use the output of the, my noise one and pipe it into the input of noise two and change the RGB here to noise. And I'm going to change my seed. And I'm going to just do this again and again. So I'm just going to copy this more times. So we have two up here and three down here. And I'm going to use this output in here, this output in here, and this up in here. Just looks a bit cleaner, but it's, it does the same thing. We're all just like, what we're doing here is just grabbing the resolution and pixel format of noise one. And um, yeah, I'm going to just change these, these seeds too, just so we have all kinds of different noises. And then I'm going to already start compositing them and we're going to look at more details here. So I'm going to just add a composite and change this to over. And I'm going to add another composite here and also change this to over. And put these both in here. And now you might be wondering why we are making two, two chains if like, you know, they're all the same. Well, on this one, on the second change, uh, chain, chain, <laughs> I want to do some post processing and uh, the, the post processing that I don't want to do on here. So that's why I'm just selecting these. So basically, these are just the, the background mountains and these are gonna be the, the forest. So to make it more look more like a forest, I'm going to add a noise here, change the output to just noise, the transform to 0.2 on the Y, and um, the noise period here to 0.07, it's quite small. And I think we can just leave everything else as it is. I'm going to add a displace here. Actually, we want to have this noise in the second input and the comp here in the first input. Let's get rid of the displace X and let's go down to 0.04 with the displace Y. 
So this already looks more like a forest, like a drawn forest, I guess. And to make it look even more so, we can go to our pal palette, go to image filters, and then just look for pointillize. Let's drag this in here. Might be a bit heavy on your machine. Like generally this isn't very uh, efficient, but it works pretty well. So I'm just gonna put that in here, change the point scattering to point three and the point size to five or uh, maybe, maybe six, something like that. So now this looks more like somebody tried to draw a forest, right? Um, so now what we can do is add a composite here and put this in here. Let's change this to, um, what can we change this to? I think uh, like we can change this to overlay. I personally think, you know, there's a lot of different uh, things you can try here. My personal favorite is difference. And you're gonna see why soon. I'm gonna add a null and just display all of this stuff in the background and call this BG. So now we're gonna do a lot more stuff, but let's just properly set up our, um, our mountain ranges. So I'm gonna actually, increase the displays on this one. And what I'm doing with the ramps, uh, and I'm actually going to go ahead and delete all of this and um, change the position here to 0.5 and change this to comp with input. Now, there we go. Actually, now we, we have to go down with the displacement again. So I think somewhere up there is okay. And now I'm just gonna hide this again. Now with the um, brightness of the color, we can define how much the the sides are like going up or down. So basically what I'm trying to do here is a is a valley, right? So I'm going up like this. I think that's a good height. Maybe uh, the center can be a bit higher too, something like this. So I'm just gonna copy this and uh, put it into here. That instantly, instantly looks better as well, right? So that's cool. I think we can even just leave that or maybe want to go down slightly. So that's actually the one behind now. Let's try a different seed. Okay, I don't know about this. Might want to go further up with that one. They should not intersect, right? It looks kind of weird. So let me, yeah, I think that's nice. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So uh, again, I'm just going to copy and paste it, put that in here and do this several times. Should have done that from beginning on. Thank you, Google. Okay, so now uh, everything's uh, way too extreme. So let's go down with this to like point five, maybe. Let's go down with this one to like point three and this one to point one, I think it's good. Maybe this could even be a bit higher and this one too. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's really like, you know, painting something here, painting something there. And now I'm very happy with my mountain setup. And now we can go about actually properly styling this and adding some light. So I'm going to add a little feedback loop now to create a, um, a glow effect. So I'm going to add a circle. And I'm gonna go down with the size a bit. And what we need to do now is we need to cut off uh, the mountain range from the circle. So it appears like the circle is behind it. So we can just go to output, comp of input and change this to outside. Now we got the silhouette of the circle, uh, of the mountains there. So I'm gonna go down to like point, uh, 0 0.08. I'm gonna go to minus like 0 0.2, maybe 0 0.1 up, maybe 0 0.2, somewhere there, let's see. And then I'm gonna add a feedback top and a level. And on my level, I'm just gonna go down to like 0.96 on the, on the opacity, so transparency. And I'm gonna add a blur, change this to like 15 and add a composite top. I'm gonna put this in here and change this to add, drag it back onto the feedback and it's already sort of glowing, right? Now what we can do, we can go to our transform and uh, increase the scale. So now it's like going kind of up. So we, we might want to readjust this. So maybe 0 0.02. Actually, I'm not sure, 0 0.01. Yeah, I think this, this works pretty well. 
So 0 0.004 minus 0 0.004. Well, I might actually want to change it like this. Maybe let's do 5. There we go. Well, it looks like the sun is coming from behind the mountains. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to add a composite. Put that in here. And on this composite, again, I'm going to change this to add. So now it looks uh, pretty pretty sweet. Now let's add some more dynamics here. So I'm going to add another comp and a noise, noise, noise number seven. I'm going to change this to noise. And on my noise, uh, I'm going to go to transform, change this to point, whoops, point zero seven. And let's also animate this actually. So I'm going to, this is sort of like, you know, fog or clouds or something. So we might want to have them move from left to right or something. So let's change this to abs time dot seconds times point zero five. And I'm going to just copy this, paste it in here and change it to like point one, just so it's also changing slightly on the, on the Z axis. I'm also going to add a ramp, change this to vertical, comp it with the input, and then we can put this into here. And instead of multiply, we might want to use overlay. Okay. I'm actually not super happy with my second mountain. So I'm just going to change the, yeah, I feel, feel like this is better. Let's add some snow and then we're going to properly style this. So again, another noise, change this to just noise. And I'm just going to change the scale here to 0.2 on Y. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the period here to 0 0.02. Then on my transform, I want to have a um, some animation again. So I'm going to animate this with the same. I'm just going to paste the expression I still have and just uh, go with minus 1 and paste it again and just go with 0.1. So now it's like falling down slightly and also maybe 0.2, also changing very slightly on the z-axis. So uh, snow is not usually falling down like this, right? So um, might want to have some transform and rotate this. I'm going to rotate it by 20. And now you can see, we can see these. Yeah, there's this background looks like it doesn't look very good. Um, and we can just go up with our scale to get rid of that uh, for the snow. It's, I mean, it's kind of hacky, but it works pretty well for the snow. Uh, we can add a function here change the function RGBA to input exponent. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. Input uh, one exponent and just change the value here to like 10. Now it looks more like snow already. And now on our noise, we can change um, the offset to like four maybe. And let's go down with the harmonic gain to like 0.2. That looks pretty nice. So another composite, you might have guessed it. And again, we can just use add. And now you can see this looks terrible, actually, like these uh, black arrows there. So there is a function here or like an, uh, an option to just click and replace arrows. And then we get rid of these weird black parts. Okay, so that's already looking much nicer with the snow. Let's go ahead and add two effects. So there's this uh, GitHub by, oops, by David Brown. If you've worked with Touch, you're probably familiar with it. It's a really, really cool resource with all kinds of tox files. And if you download this here as a zip, then uh, in your folder, it will look like this. And uh, then you can just go to tops and pick uh, two of these. I mean, you can pick any of these, but for this one, I'm, I'm just going to use barrel blur, blur, barrel blur. I have a lot of problems pronouncing that. And uh, Kuwahara paint. So you just drag them in here. I'm just going to connect this to the barrel blur, connect this to here. And now you're going to see a very slight difference. But you know, the subtle things often make the difference. So um, just the barrel blur is really just sort of, you know, like a blur around the edges. So kind of like a zoom in effect. And I think the um, default strength 0 0.05 is fine. And the Kuwahara paint just makes it look a bit more like a painting. I'm going to go down to like 0 0.24. Okay, last but not least, let's add color with a lookup. So I'm just going to add a ramp in here. And I'm going to go and make this like slightly red. And this as well, but like 
a bit brighter too. And uh, yeah, I think we're actually good. You could of course just copy this as well and put this one in here and then, yeah, I mean, that, that also looks super nice actually. I'm happy with that. Coolio. So what we can also do is go to a level here and maybe increase the amount of light. So you could go all the way up and then it just becomes white. Um, so I think it's a really nice sort of ray effect. It's crazy that this is all tops, right? It kind of looks like it's 3D. You can um, ch change anything you like. You can add more mountains, you can add, add more forests or whatever you come up with. Uh, mess around with these noises, mess around with the displaces and whatever you can do here. Maybe you want some kind of different light. Maybe you want some kind of different forests. Uh, add any kind of post-processing effect that you like. Um, you can also get rid of this noise. You can you can do anything your heart desires. I mean, if you're able to. <laughs> um, right. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much to everybody who's supporting me. And I hope I'll be able to post more videos. But yeah, I don't know. My, my time recently has been pretty crazy. And there's a lot going on. So I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not posting as much. But uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this. And I, I'll see you in the next video.